Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Silver Swanner channel. This is the 17th video in my US typeset series and today we're going to be adding a 1909 VDB Lincoln set to the typeset. So before we talk about this set, uh, I do need to explain uh, a little bit of a change in my upload schedule. So I am going to continue posting every Sunday. Uh, however, being the summer in the here in the US, there's lots of holidays that have come and that are coming up. I'll be taking some vacation. Uh, I'll be doing some other commitments. So I might not be posting as frequently as I have. So everyone who watches my videos, I just want you to know that I will continue up Uploading. We're going to go all the way through the end of this typeset. It's probably going to take us years and I will continue to upload those videos. It just might slow down the pace right now. That being said, let's talk a little bit about the 1909 Lincoln VDB set. So if you recall from one of my previous videos, we had added a 2009 Lincoln by Centennial proof set to the type set and correspondingly 100 years prior to that, so 1909, the US Mint released for the first time the Lincoln Penny to commemorate the centennial of Lincoln's birth. The Lincoln Sense Obverse was designed by Victor David Brenner, and that's where the VDB comes that from. That's actually his initials, obviously. And the initial production and the reverse of the Lincoln Pennies featured VDB on the reverse very prominently, or some people thought prominently, uh, so much so that they complained to the Mint and the Mint subsequently decided that it was going to move uh, Victor David Brenner's initials from the reverse to the obverse under Lincoln's shoulder and shrink them down very, very, very small. We're going to try and get a look at his initials on another Lincoln set that I have just to see the difference between them. But it is very, very different if you have a VDB penny and a normal penny with his smaller initials on it to see the difference in the size of those initials. So uh, I don't think the obverse of this penny is ever going to change much. I think the only thing that's going to cause the penny to change is going to be the ceasing of production of pennies. Uh, other than that, I think Lincoln is here to stay with us. In my memory, uh, this is the single longest minted coin that the U.S. has ever produced. Now, there's been lots of changes on the reverse. Uh, the VDB features the wheat, the Memorial cents were from 59 until I think 2008, right? 2009, they did the bicentennial with the, the custom Lincoln reverses featuring uh, different uh, parts of Lincoln's life. And then from 2010 onward, we've been having the shield sets. So that being said, let me take you in and let's get to adding this coin to the type set. All right, and welcome back everybody. So here we have the 1909 VDB. So this is a Philadelphia. The key date in the Lincoln sense is the 1909S, which there were only here in the Red Book 484,000 of the VDBSs. So if you find one of those, uh, you got yourself quite a doozy. Even in G4, it is a $625 penny. In this case, uh, I am very happy with the condition. I say at worst, this is going to be AU. I'd probably put it at low mint state. It does look like under the light here, there is maybe a scratch across the, the obverse, uh, but I also have some, some camera lights on me. So uh, that being said, I'm very happy uh, that I'm able to add this coin to the typeset today. This is definitely going to be a keeper. And again, if we can get it to focus here, you can see the initials are right down here. The camera does not want to cooperate. And we're going to take a look here, and I'm, I'm already laughing because one, I don't think the camera is going to focus. The 
the VDB initials are moved to the bottom of the shoulder about right here where my finger is. And there is absolutely no way this camera is going to pick that up. Uh, I had my loop out earlier and I could barely even see it with my loop. There's a 10, 20 and a, a 30 X power and good luck being able to, to see that. So sorry, Victor, uh, the public really did you in on, on this one. You don't get much credit, but you do uh, get to be on at least the key day coin, the VDS uh, 1909 VDBS that is. Okay. That being said, let's get to adding this to the typeset here. Let's get it out of its flip. Let's find where the, the edge is here. Since this is the non staple side, it should be here. There we go. No, a, a weird way to staple this. All right, now that it's out of the flip here. If we can get a better view. Well, the camera does not want to cooperate today for such a little detail on a coin that makes all the, the difference here. It's right down here, and I'm sorry. Uh, the iPhone is just not picking that up today. All right, so I'm going to add this next to the... Indian head and the 1909 through 1958. Now in 1909, they did make uh, cents that were without the VDB. So you, if you see a 1909, it's not just that uh, it's going to be a guaranteed VDB. You do need to still check that and see if it does have the, the VDB or not because there were some that were produced there without the the VDB. So there it is. That being said, as always, I will put up uh, photos of the album progress so far. And finally, I will share with you my running cost and what I paid for this 1909 Philadelphia VDB. And here are the updated album photos. Next week, we will be filling another hole on the nickel page. And here are my updated running costs. So for the 1909 Lincoln Philadelphia VDB, I paid $29.88. So that's a little bit on the high end for probably what is a AU low mint state coin, according to the Red Book at least. Uh, I bought this with multiple other coins, so hence uh, the shipping cost was split. So I paid only 79 cents in shipping. All told so far for the coins themselves, I paid $773.76. I paid $29.27 in shipping for a grand total of $803.03. .03.